Hello, Toby here. Today I'm going to test the carbon slider from Neo. Like many other people who are interested in video work, you come to the point where you want to get yourself a video slider. This happened to me as well. The common problem? You are on a short budget and therefore want to get a cheaper model. After all, there is a huge range of video sliders on sites like Amazon. They are basically all based on the same system, regardless of the brand. One long rail and plastic wheels. If you have ever used such a slider, you probably know that even after many tries and a lot of patience, you won't get perfect results with such a system. This design is just not optimal. Professional sliders normally have two metal pipes and wheels made of rubber. These sliders can cost up to 500 euros or more. This model from Neo is a good compromise. It only features plastic wheels which are secured using only one screw. However, this slider also offers two quality pipes. And that's for only about 110 euros. You will notice the difference straight away. But let's begin with the hard facts first. At the end of this video, I will show you a few shots which I recorded with my Sony A6300. Briefly about the package. The slider is delivered with a nice transport bag. They get bonus points for that. With a length of 100 cm, the slider has an optimal length in my opinion. Strangely, the screw which is used on the sliding element is only a quarter inch screw. I was expecting a 3 8 screw. The slider comes with an adapter for the screw, but I would still have preferred it the other way around. There is no logical reason for implementing a quarter inch screw. I don't think that anybody is going to mount the camera directly on the slider. The slider has four small folding legs. Those can be adjusted minimally and offer a slightly elevated position, even without a tripod. The legs also come in handy if you are dealing with an uneven surface. The slider offers several tripod threads if you want or need to use the slider with a tripod. In the middle of the slider you find their own blade for that. This blade offers 3 3 8 threads and 2 quarter inch threads. At both of the ending pieces of the slider you will find one thread of each size. Therefore the slider can also be mounted vertically on the tripod. Additionally there is another quarter inch screw on the underside. By just using my Manfrotto tripod, this configuration is already quite steady. The pipes only bend a tiny bit. The fact that my setup with my A6300 is quite light plays a big role in that. If you use a heavy tripod head and a big camera, you are going to want to use two tripods. In the end, the most important attribute is the quality of the slider shots. And it's pretty good. Already after a little bit of practice, you are able to get some great results. Quite a lot better than the cheap sliders. Just look at the first videos I have ever recorded using the slider and decide for yourself. Of course the slider is not completely perfect. The screw to secure the slider can't be used to create any sort of damping. You will not get any satisfying results if the screw is not fully loosened up. Slow shots have to be created by slow hand movement. It just takes a little practice. The middle blade also has to be considered. At least for my model it slows down the movement a tiny bit. With a little bit of pressure to the sliding plate, I can fix this issue completely. Summary Barely more expensive than the cheap sliders, but really close to the quality which you can achieve with the professional product. The build quality is, except of a few little details, very good. 
The strange decision to use a quarter inch screw is almost forgiven by throwing in the adapter and the transport bag. The quality of the videos will let you forget that problem altogether. With a light camera, you do not even need to use two tripods. I really can recommend this video slider to anyone who is currently looking for such a product. If you have any additional questions regarding the slider, just write a comment or send me an email. Thanks for watching. See you soon.